Hello, my name is Christine Elliott, and this is a short tutorial on Open Educational Resources, or OERs. We are going to quickly define OERs, explain how they can be used, and how you can find them to support your own research. So what is an OER? Open Educational Resources are teaching, learning, and research resources that are free of cost and access barriers. This means that you don't have to pay or share any personal information to access them. These materials can look like primary resources, videos, images, articles, books, textbooks, legal documents, and more. OERs can also carry legal permissions for open use. Based on a resource's Creative Commons license, anyone has the ability to retain, reuse, revise, remix, and redistribute it. So OERs sound pretty great, right? So where do you start looking for them? The librarians at Juniata College have created a comprehensive research guide specifically on open educational resources. So you will navigate to our library's homepage, https colon slash slash libguides.juniata.edu slash home. And on this page, you will navigate to the LibGuides tab here in the center, and you will select Juniata's Affordable Learning Resource Guide. Once you select that guide, you will hit go. And this will pull up a four page resource guide with everything you need to get started. This intro page includes my face and my contact information, as well as information on OERs and Creative Commons. The second tab focuses on evaluating OERs. Evaluating your sources is essential, regardless of if it's a book, peer review publication, OER, or even a video. The resources here provide you with additional tips on how to pick the resource that best suits your needs. The third tab links you to some general OER collections hosted by institutions like MIT, Carnegie Mellon, Sailor Academy, and other groups promoting affordable educational materials. Depending on your topic, you can click your way down through these links to find what you need. Here on the left, over my face, the Mason OER MetaFinder is highlighted. This is a fantastic tool for searching all kinds of resources in one search. So when you click on the Mason OER Finder, it will take you to a search page, and here is where you will want to start your general search. For example, if you are interested in finding sources on women in politics, you can type that in, the t in this field, and I would recommend leaving all of these boxes checked, and then you will hit search. So your results page will contain a wide variety of resources um, that is continuously updating. So you're going to see here that it, there's a pop-up box saying that it's finding additional resources. You can either ignore or add those results. Otherwise, you're going to find books, you're going to find news articles, recordings, primary sources, even musical scores. So here on the left, you can narrow down your search even further based on what type of material you're looking for, what type of format you want your document to be in, or even more specific topics focusing on your very general topic. So we want to make sure that you know that all of these sources are freely available to use. Just remember to always cite your sources. So if you were interested in this particular source right here, it's going to give you all the information you need to both view the item and to cite it. So back to the final tab of our research guide, we have subject specific collections of OER resources. Here, I would recommend that you explore the subject of your interest to see what's out there. So if you're interested in biology, you can click on biology and find biology focused sources, all OERs. You can even go down to history. We have a wide variety of, of options here. So if you are still feeling overwhelmed, the librarians at Beagley Library are always happy to assist you. You can find contact information and other helpful resources in the comments below. Thank you.